Today's lesson is going to be a short lesson on moon phases. We're going to demonstrate this in class also so that you can really get a good feel of what's happening on why we see different parts of the moon or what the moon looks like. So the moon phases are just changes in the way that the moon looks from Earth. It's going to depend on the position of the Earth and the moon. The sun is always going to light up half the moon, but we see the moon from different angles. So we don't see that whole lit half. So we're talking about things like the crescent moon or a half a moon. Okay, these moon phases that you'll see in the night sky. Before we get onto the pictures of what they look like, we have a couple definitions to go over. The first definition is waxing. Waxing is new moon to full moon. In simple terms, it means the bright part gets bigger. Okay, so waxing is when the bright part gets bigger. So if you go outside tonight, you look at the moon, you go outside tomorrow night, and it's bigger, it means the moon is waxing. Waning is the opposite. It's full moon to new moon. The bright part gets smaller. So if you go out tonight and look at the moon, then you go out tomorrow night and look at the moon, and you see that the moon is smaller tomorrow night, it's waning. The moon takes 29 and a half days to go through a whole lunar cycle. So a lunar month is 29 and a half days. So new moon back to new moon is 29 and a half days. So let's get on to what it looks like and why it looks like it does. You have a picture in your notes that looks similar to this. The arrows on the left, that's sunlight. So the sun is over here. Okay, this is the sun. Can't really see it, but the sun's over there. This is the earth, and this is the moon going around the earth. Going from new moon to full moon, and then all the way back to new moon. It takes 29 and a half days to go through the whole cycle. It's going counterclockwise. Okay, the moon is going counterclockwise. The light blue, that's the side that's lit up by the sun. The sun's over here, so you see half of the moon is always lit up by the sun. We are not always going to see that half of the moon, however. So let's start with the new moon phase. You're on Earth, obviously. You look up at the moon. Do you see any of the lit up part? Okay, these are your sight lines. Do you see any of the lit up part? No. So you see nothing in the sky. So I'm just going to draw like a black rectangle or red rectangle in this case. You see nothing. That's a new moon. So once every 29 and a half days, you look up for the moon, and there's no moon. New moon phase. Next, the moon is going to be cruising along this direction. The sun is lighting up this light blue part. We're on Earth, of course, still. Now what we're seeing, so here are our sight lines now. We're seeing a little tiny sliver of moon. So we're going to see a crescent of a moon. Is it a crescent on the right side or on the left side? So think about it. If you're standing on the Earth, you're looking up, you're going to see a little right crescent. So maybe something like that. Okay. So that is a waxing crescent moon. It's the little bit of the right side lit up. The moon cruises along. Now the moon's in this position. You're still on Earth looking at it. Your sight lines are like this you're going to see a quarter of the moon, or it's going to be a half circle. Which half circle? Again, think you're looking at it. It's going to be the right half circle. So you're going to see that. Okay, the right half circle. It's kind of drawn badly, but I think you get the idea. It's half of a full circle. That's called the first quarter. You can also call it the waxing quarter. That's usually what I use because it's easy the waxing quarter, so the right quarter. Some people also will call it the new quarter. So any of those three terms is fine. First quarter, waxing quarter, new quarter, same thing. It's that right half lit up. The moon keeps cruising along, now it's over in this position. Again, you look at it from the Earth. we draw my sight lines in. Now you're seeing most of the moon. You're seeing three quarters of the moon, and only a little bit 
is blacked out in shadow. What three quarters? The right three quarters, of course. So this is hard to draw usually. So something like that, maybe. That's not a perfect circle, all right? It's kind of a three quarters. The right three quarters is the waxing gibbous. Moon keeps cruising along. We get to here. Now you are seeing the full moon, the full circle. So there's my full circle moon that you're seeing. Moon keeps going. Now we're over here. Okay, again, I can keep doing the same thing. I think you get the idea now. You're going to see three quarters of the moon lit up with a little bit of darkness. Which side is it going to be? Now it's easier viewpoint this way. Looking up at the moon, it's going to be the left side. So now we're going to have the left three quarters. That's a waning gibbous. Do the same thing here, and it's the left half lit up. Oh, that doesn't look good. Okay, it's the left half, called the third quarter, or called the waning quarter, or you could call it the old quarter. Any of those terms will work fine. Keeps on going, we get here, and again, I think you get the idea. Now we're going to have the little left crescent, which is called the waning crescent. And that's why we have moon phases. It's just the moon is in different places, so we don't see the whole lit up half of the moon. We're only seeing part of the lit up half, and we're seeing part of the shadow most of the time. Here are some pictures. This one here, what phase is this? It's the left part lit up. So remember, if the left part is lift up, that's going to be waning. Waning what? It's just a little sliver. So it's going to be a waning crescent. This one here, we're considering this to be half. It looks a little bit less than half. But say this is half against the left half. So it would be a waning quarter. This would be the full moon. The right half would be the waxing quarter. And then this little sliver here on the right would be the waxing crescent. This picture shows a, a few more pictures. And you're looking at it, you see lots of waxing crescents. You see the quarter is probably this one here, the waxing quarter. Full moon looks like this one. So let me just label some of these. So full moon. This one was the waxing quarter. New moon, of course, is down here. You can't see it. The waning quarter would be, which one would that be? That's a tough call. Maybe, I'll say this one, maybe. Waning quarter. Well, that only takes up four of the moons. So we have one waxing quarter, one waning quarter, one full, one new. That only takes up four nights out of our 29 and a half nights. The rest of them are crescents or gibbuses. So you see there's lots of waxing crescents and then one waxing quarter. Lots of waxing gibbuses, one full. Lots of waning gibbuses, one waning quarter. Lots of waning crescents, one new. So we have four kind of distinct ones, and then of the crescents and the, and the gibbuses, there are lots of them. And we'll do a demonstration of this, but again, kind of summing up, lunar phases are just what we see from Earth. It's just the viewpoint we see from Earth. How much of the lit up part do we see based on the angle that we're looking at? Thank <laughs> you.